Question number 54 in the Math 86 Final Review. X minus 4 sevenths equals 3 fourteenths. And what we basically want to do is solve for x or isolate x as a variable by itself. Okay? So in order to do that here, we have x minus, once again, negative 4 sevenths. And to get x alone, we want to add 4 sevenths to the other side. So we want to Whenever you have a negative um, fraction and you want to move it to the other side of the equal sign, you want to add it so it becomes positive. So I'm going to add 4 sevenths to this side. I'm going to add 4 sevenths to the other side, okay? So when you have a negative 4 sevenths, you have, an, uh, you have two fractions that are equal in value, and one is positive and one is negative, they essentially cancel each other out. So, we're just going to be left alone with x equals 3 fourteenths, and remember, 4 sevenths is now positive, plus 4 sevenths. But we're not done yet, because we have to add 3 fourteenths plus 4 sevenths. Um, in order to add fractions, you need to make sure you have that your, that your denominators equal each other. They should be the same value. In order to do that, we need to find the LCD, least common denominator, of 14 and 7. Um, what you normally can do is factor. We would do uh, factors of 7. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 would be perfect to use because then we have, we have a 14 here. So all we want to do is change 4 sevenths to a fraction equivalent to 14 in the denominator. So I'm going to take 4 sevenths. I'm going to put an equal value, and I'm going to put 14 in the denominator, okay? Because we're trying to get, uh, we're trying to move from 7 in the denominator to 14 in the denominator. Um, in order to do this, we can multiply by 2. To go from 7 to 14, we multiply by 2 in the denominator, and we're going to have to do the same thing in the numerator to make sure the values are equal. 4 times 2 is going to give us 8. We get 8 over 14. So now we have x equals 3 fourteenths plus 8 over 14. Okay? And we're simply going to add straight across. 3 plus 8 is 11 in the, in the numerator. Our denominator, when you're adding, is going to stay the same. It's going to be 14. Our final answer is x equals 11 over 14.